This is Tech House and Speed. The best thing about rallying is that it happens on all kinds of surfaces. Pavement, dirt, mud, snow. And that means the tire that touches those surfaces has to be perfect, even if you have to create it yourself. Derek Doncy, manager of Monster World Rally Team. We're looking at two different tires here. The pattern here is wider on the tread here to let more dirt escape or mud if necessary. Yeah, basically two tires. Uh, excellent Pirelli uh, P0 tire. One's a KM tire pattern and one's a K, a K tire. The basic difference is that this one's used uh, when the conditions are uh, wet or um, there's quite a lot of uh, surface of the road that's polluted or you might even be a lot of gravel first car on the road you'd use this tyre. The other tyre is has got more contact with the blocks on the road so it's a tyre that we've been using today um, so the only problem is that if it rains then we have to make a decision whether to use the tyre which has the blocks cut out of it but with high speed stages you have the movement of the pattern so you lose performance or we take this this other tyre, the K tyre and we, we make some cuts in it to try and just move some water off it. So in addition to the lugs here on the open area for the stuff on the road to escape the tire. These are two different compounds or rubber, one what might be softer than the other or harder than the other depending on the surface of the road? Yeah, you can make your choice on the temperature of air really. So today it's quite warm, the temperature is like 22 degrees C, so you've got to really go for the harder tire because of the heat and you know the way that, way that the tire works. But you've got to try and balance it, you know, it's, if the weather turns, if the weather thunderstorm comes in and it puts a lot of water on the road, then you either cut the, 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 the tire that you're on now or you use the, the KM tire. So if it's a, a hot storm, you would use a, what, a harder tire so that it wouldn't go away so fast, but you would cut it to let more of the mud get away. Yeah, it's a fine balance. Obviously, more, more block comp, uh, contact on the road, the more stable the, the actual pattern is. High speed, if you've got less blocks on the road, which your tire which des it moves the water across, the driver's going to feel the tire wander about, and that's not good for his confidence. So we always want to go on the actual tire, which has got the more, con you know, more contact on the road. It's just finding the balance whether you cut that or you go with the wet, wet tire. We were laughing yesterday, I think it was, about the craziest things we've ever seen. I've seen guys come in where they've actually ground away all of this tread down to the steel belts. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen happen to a rally tire? I think Citroen did a really weird thing a few years ago. They turned the tires around because obviously you, you have to fit uh, left and right tires. They turned them around because they believe that under braking it was particularly good for one particular stage and uh, completely and utterly insane, but um, they believed it and they tried it. So. Did it work? Uh, I don't think it did, no. <laughs> this is Tech House and Speed.